you know it's like having good tires good horn good music system good ac will my car run it will not run you need a good engine and the engine is the healthcare professionals okay you need healthcare professionals you know you just can't you know go and google and find out by eating palak or by eating this my cerebellum will become better no this cannot replace a proper medical professional a proper specialist in that field hello namaste assalam alaikum sat sri akal dr naim sadiq neurologist neuropsychiatrist founder and director of Plexus Neuro and Stem Cell Research Center. Welcome to the Dr. Brain Stem podcast, your portal to understanding the complexities of neurological disorders. Today, with Plexus, we're focusing on the early signs, impacts, and the forefront of treatment advancements for ataxia. Together, we're committed to raising awareness, enhancing knowledge, and exploring how this condition affects the daily lives of patients and their families. Guiding us through today's discussion is Ms. Kanishka a seasoned occupational therapist with a master's in occupational therapy and the head of the department of rehabilitation so coming to a very important question i'm sure you would have come across this question a million times in your practice is there a magic bullet is there a cure for this condition yes you know this is one of my pet peeves the cure there is you know anyone asks me i say no there is no cure there is no cure for anything especially now when you are talking about a degenerative disease you know and the sca or the cerebellar ataxias there is no cure as of now nothing nothing has been done but we just cannot you know keep sitting waiting you know something will come you know by then <laughs> one generation is gone <laughs> the next yeah. one will come so there are a lot lot of research going on lot of things being tried now talking about uh, the medication wise there's nothing much there's only one drug you know which, which got the approval uh, uh, early last year and even that was for uh, frederick's ataxia okay omobilexolon now besides that there are a lot of uh, other things which are being tried uh, like uh, for instance uh, genetic uh, engineering is being done you know using uh, something called as a crisp r then you have the asos we are being tested out you know anti sense oligonucleotides and and you know regenerative medicine that is stem cell therapy is you know being researched widely and is showing lot of promises you know in trying to halt the progression of this disease and maybe reverse it to certain extent okay so now here at plexus what we do is you know what i call as a holistic 360 degree program which is customized and tailor made for these people which comprises of a lot of things so you've spoken about a holistic treatment program that you offer at plexus so what is this program about and what is the importance of uh, multidisciplinary care in the treatment of ataxia so if if you have you know paid attention to the kind of symptoms which the patient develops you know patient has uh, who is suffering from ataxia then you would have got a picture or i will try to explain to you okay these patients need a complete package now what does the package include one a group of healthcare professionals which now who are these now if you talk about the the doctors you need a neurologist who will take care of your symptoms your ataxia and you know do your make your uh, come to your diagnosis and start your treatment two now depending of type of ataxia you might need other specialties as well you know now suppose if if it is you know part of uh, a metabolic disorder you might need an endocrinologist you might need a physician if it's part of uh, of a frederick's ataxia for instance you might need a cardiologist you might need an orthopedic uh, surgeon so there's a team of doctors who are involved in the planning the treatment of ataxia one two now if the person is you know has carrying the genes right you need a genetic counselor right then planning the treatment 
besides the medication or besides the vitamins the supplements whatever the these patients need a complete rehabilitation now this rehabilitation will include one physical therapy which is very important and along with this equally or much more important is occupational therapy where the, you know the patient is taught or trained how to do the fine motor movements you know to, to carry on his daily activities you will also need a speech and swallowing therapist to help in improving the quality of the speech to help in improve the swallowing right besides this you also need a counselor a clinical psychologist or a psychotherapist because the impact it has you know suppose to know that yes i am suffering from this disease and i might pass it on to my it, it's not easy to take there's a lot of mental impact which the patient will have so lot of uh, counseling is needed and you may also need uh, a psychiatrist help and the person may also need some you know antidepressants or anxiolytic medications as well so it is a complete package which the patient needs it's a multidisciplinary approach only then will the patient have some kind of stability where the disease may not progress or slow it down or even improve which you know i have seen so many of them so many of them uh, uh, here uh, improve and go back are there any lifestyle changes that can impact the progression of this neurodegenerative condition there are there are there are several several lifestyle factors which can be uh, incorporated by which one you can either stop the progression of the disease or two slow down the progression of the disease and three sometimes even improve a little bit now what are these one most important is physical exercise now in in one of my podcasts earlier i have mentioned very very clearly how physical exercise produces so many of you know neurotransmitters which help regenerate the neurons establish the neural pathways so regular physical exercise is extremely important to achieve any of these two a proper diet now again what's a proper diet okay a diet which is rich in green leafy vegetables where you have lot of nuts where you have you know fish white meat you know especially the fatty uh, fish uh you you and you have the right proportion of the proteins carbs you know the balanced balanced uh, diet which we all studied uh, in our schools so and third sleep sleep is very very important very extremely important sleep is something which recharges all the living beings including plants yeah and more so humans okay i i don't know if you have seen the previous part of podcast where i explain in detail what all happens during sleep how it restores you know like like the phone you know we use it for a long time you know it gets heated up it needs rest it you have to recharge it you know a car any any anything in this world you know you need rest so and in neurodegenerative disorders and cerebellum especially where you need coordination you know to get coordination you need to be focused right and sleep gives you that so you have exercise you have a proper diet then you have a good sleep then fourth avoiding toxins which i was talking to you about uh, most important would be alcohol and if if a person is suffering from any disease to look for any side effects which could uh, you know have a cerebellar impact and probably be aware of it and the moment you know something happens change change the medication so if we can include that in the toxins what about smoking smoking is you know smoking has again a, a very big impact on these disorders so stop smoking stop alcohol so the, these are uh, some of uh, the important things which you can incorporate now along with this other thing would be to have 
a positive attitude you know to engage yourself in certain things which are fulfilling where you feel positive about yourself that you know you you have a sense of achievement so this restores your mental health makes you optimistic which can again help you uh, fight the battle against this disease basically managing stress managing stress managing stress you know because you know this is happening but then something else can be done while doing this and that sense of achievement is uh, uh, something very important so stress can add to the speed of degeneration definitely definitely you know what was going at this pace just goes zoop you know and and then you give up yeah you give up even before you begin the fight so if you're strong then you are able to carry on so stress is very important uh yeah and then uh, you know uh, like like in other disorders if you have a network you know social circle you know where one is your friends and relatives who might give you that you know moral support now along with that if you have a network you know with, with the with the community who is suffering from a similar disorder you know that might give you morale and you might learn from each one's uh, achievements or how they overcame uh, uh, their hurdles so it will help you okay but then but then uh, you know it it should be in a positive way uh, it is it's available you know even in india we have lot of these communities yeah right so by regular exercise healthy diet managing stress good quality of sleep and socially engaging ourselves and avoiding toxins we will be able to take care of all these things which lead to neurodegeneration i mean that's okay that's done that's one part of it you know it's like having good tires good horn good music system good ac will my car run it will not run you need a good engine and the engine is the healthcare professionals okay you need healthcare professionals you know you just can't you know go on google and find out by eating palak or by eating this my cerebellum will become better no this cannot replace a proper medical professional a proper specialist in that field all these things are complementary to whatever advice your doctor gives you so this cannot be replaced at right all. yeah So before we sign off what are some of the tips that can help families and patients with ataxia Right <clears throat> one and the foremost and most important get a diagnosis two start working towards overcoming it and to try to get back on track literally three have a network with the community four do not forget your healthcare professionals the team have a regular contact with them so that you are in touch with them and they can keep guiding you as to what should be done the next step and finally accept it with a brave heart do not feel bad about it you know you have it when you have it accept the inevitable and then fight towards it you will either win or lose but then it's worth fighting to us coming back on track so that was a very educational session i personally learned a lot about ataxia which is a very rare condition a very rare disorder so thank you for uh, raising that awareness and uh, also for uh, letting me know about the importance of genetic testing in this condition and how for family planning and financial planning and all of that health planning plays such an important role when it comes to uh, a condition like spinal cerebellar ataxia or frederick's ataxia so i hope uh, there are people out there who are willing to take this message from this video and uh, we are able to you know have a positive impact on a society we are able to eliminate this condition forever 
so let's let's hope that yeah, at uh, least one disease at least one, one disease at least, at least one. one disease we're able to and if a, even if one person does it then you know one yeah. family has one family and one generation and has one generation. probably uh, benefited from that so thank you so much for this very very insightful session and we hope to meet again with another new condition uh, next time well guys that's dr name sidhi from plexus from the channel dr brain stem signing off and see you again with uh, yet another interesting topic in my next podcast now if you have any questions if you have any comments and if you want me to cover some topics or if you have any any queries related anything to do with the central nervous system health brain uh, brain mental health or any anything to do with the brain and mind please post them on the channel and i shall answer them to you till then bye bye